Hello everyone, my name is Shi Feng Zhang from CASIA. Glad to share our work bridging the gap between anchor base and anchor free detection via adaptive training sample selection to you. I'm the first author and the other authors are Chen Shi, Yong Chang Yao, Zheng Lei and Stan Zi Li. Current CNN-based object detectors consist of anchor-based and anchor-free methods. Anchor-based can be divided into one-stage and two-stage methods, while anchor-free can be also divided into center-based and keypoint-based methods. Among them, the one-stage anchor-based approach is very similar to the anchor-free center-based approach. Take anchor-based retina nets and anchor-free FCOS as an example. They have very similar framework. Our motivation is to explore their essential difference. There are three differences between retina nets and FCOS. The first one is the definition of positive and negative chaining samples. Retina net uses IOUI FCOS use spatial and scale constraints to define chaining samples. The second one is the regression starting status. Retina net regresses the object bounding bosses from the preset anchor boss while FCOS from the anchor point. The third one is the number of anchors tile per location. Retina net tiles 9 anchor bosses while FCOS tiles 1 anchor point per location. We want to explore which of them are essential differences. Firstly, we set the anchor number per location in retina net as 1 to eliminate the last difference and focus on the first two differences. The last difference will be discussed later. We can see that retina net with one anchor only achieved 32.5 AP on COCO, 5.3 points worse than FCOS. However, part of this AP gap results from some universal improvements. They also can improve retina nets from 32.5 to 37. But retina net is still 0.8 points worse than FCOS. By now, after removing inconsistencies, we can explore their essential differences in a fair way. When retina net and FCOS use the same definition of training samples and different regression starting status, they have similar results as the first and second rows. When retina net and FCOS use the same regression starting status and different definition of training samples, they have different results as the first and second columns. Thus, the definition of positive and negative samples is an essential difference, while the regression starting status is not. Inspired by this, we delve into the most basic issue in object detection, how to define positive and negative training samples and propose ATSS. For each object, we select its nine candidates' positive samples on each pyramid level, whose center are closest to the center of this object. If there are five feature pyramid levels, this object will have 45 candidates. Then we compute the IOU between these candidates and this object, as well as its mean and STD. With this statistic, the IOU threshold for this object is the sum of mean and STD. And we select these candidates whose IOU are greater than the thresholds as final positive samples. ATSS adaptively selects positive and negative samples according to statistical characteristic of object, improving the performance of anchor-based and anchor-free detectors without introducing any overhead. There are only one hyperparameter in our method, which is quite robust in a large range. Besides, our method uses one anchor boss to define positive, it is robust to different anchor settings. Finally, we discuss the last difference. Tiling 9 anchor bosses per location in retina net improves the performance from 37 to 38.4, which means that more anchor bosses per location is effective under the IOU-based sample selection strategy. However, it is a useless operation under our ATSS because different numbers of anchors per location has the same result. Therefore, we conclude that after using appropriate sample selection strategy, tiling multiple anchors per location may not be a useful operation. Further study is needed to discover its right row. You can find the release codes on my homepage. Feel free to use our method. That's all. Thank you.